Good morning, everyone. My name is Hisashi Yashiro. I'm from the Riken Advanced Institute of, for Computational Science. It is located in Kobe, Japan. And our institute is next to the uh, Japanese supercomputer, uh, K computer. K computer is a massive scalar homogeneous machine, but I'm highly interested in the GPU. So today's topic is uh, uh, simulation of global atmosphere model NICAM on Tsubame 2.5 using OpenSCC. So today's my topic is not cloud computing, but the computing of the cloud. This is the cloud. The cloud covers all over the globe, and uh, several phenomena is found on each different places. And this picture is not the satellite image. This is uh, our simulation result. So we conducted the first global subkilometer run, uh, subkilometer weather simulation on the K computer using the Nikon model. The, this is the animation of the, our simulation. And you can see the Diana cycle of the convection over the North America. And uh, here is the region of the tropical convection. The, you know the Vanuatu cyclone is born in these regions. <laughs> this is a, a southern hemisphere, middle latitude. But this region is, <laughs> this convection is named as a Madden-Julian oscillation. And at last, we can see the two typhoons one and one. So the, in this simulation is used by the non-hydrostatic icosahedral atmospheric model, NICAM. The NICAM develop, development was started since 2000. And the first global 3.5 kilometer simulation is conducted in 10 years ago using the Earth Simulator. Earth Simulator is Japanese vector supercomputer. And the first global sub-kilometer simulation is conducted using the K-computer. NICAM adopts the finite volume method with icosahedral grid system. And the, the code is written by Photon 19. The NICAM also selected as a target application, proxy application in the post-K computer development project. The, the application is used for the system application code design. So uh, weather climate model is separated, mainly separated two parts. One is the dynamics and the the another is the physics. Uh, the dynamics means the fluid dynamics solver of the atmosphere. Uh, we adopt the grid method, such as uh, FDM, FVM, FEM, with horizontal explicit, usually horizontal explicit particle implicit solver scheme. Or we use the spectral method. And, uh, this part is the uh, st mainly uh, st stencil operation. And uh, another one is physics. Physics means external forcing and the subgrid scale uh, process of the atmosphere, such as cloud microphysics, atmospheric radiation, turbulence in planetary boundary layer near the surface, and chemistry, cumulus parameters parameterization, et cetera. Yeah. These are usually parameterized and no communication between 
the, the uh, other nodes. And uh, the cores usually have the big loop body with conditional branches. In NICAM case, the elapsed time ratio uh, of dynamics and the physics and 50-50, nearly 50-50. And the uh, um, peak efficiency is uh, larger than uh, the peak efficiency of the physics is larger than the dynamics because that the um, dynamics has a sensory operation and the uh, physics has more uh, uh, high computational intensi intensity. And uh, as you know, the, the weather climate model have the different uh, algorithms and the different data dependency. Uh, I want to introduce the common issue. I believe it is common issues of the climate, weather climate model and application. It is uh, the bandwidth small issue. The weather climate model is uh, one of the terrible <laughs> application of the HPC. It uh, is the bandwidth is as much as possible. So the cause of the, the bandwidth eating is the uh, low computational intensity. The weather climate model using a lot of variables with low order scheme, a not so higher order scheme uh, with comparing, uh, in comparing with the CFD models. And uh, it, ha it, calls, it could have a very huge, it could is very huge, the, between the 10 to 100,000 lines uh, contains, uh, contains. And uh, the, the model is still active for development and integration. So fully tuned course may be replaced by the student's new scheme for the two, two years. <laughs> so the, we have to uh, tune uh, more and more. The weather climate model shows the flat profile but for five show, uh, means that uh, no large hotspots of computation. And a uh, uh, notable feature of the, our model is a uh, uh, frequent file I.O. Uh, it requires a throughput from accelerator to storage disk. So we have to optimize everywhere in the app application. If we use the GPU, we have to change the all of the application like this. So fully GPU simulation of the climate model is uh, challenging. We want to utilize the memory throughput of the GPU and uh, we want to offload all components of the application. And if possible, I want, uh, we want keep portability of the application. Uh, if possible, I want to use the one code for vector machine, scalar machine, and the GPU. And we, want, we don't want to rewrite all components of the application by special language because of the huge code portion. So OpenACC is suitable for our application to <coughs> using the GPU. Uh, at first, we implemented OpenACC to the dynamic, dynamical part of the NICAM. The so NICAM DC is the dynamical core package of NICAM. It is an open source license and you can get from a website or GitHub. 
the basic test cases are prepared. The OpenCC is implemented with a highly uh, strong support of the NVIDIA. We thank to the Mr. Narse. And uh, the performance is evaluated on the Tuberman, Tuberman 2.5 supercomputer in the Tokyo Tech. The Tsubame 2.5 is the largest GPU supercomputer in Japan. It has uh, over 1,000 nodes and 3 GPUs per node. We used 2,560 GPUs for Grand Challenge Run. And uh, I will introduce the strategy to implementing OpenCC. Um, the transfer common variables to GPU using data present or copying clouds. Uh, after the setup, uh, arrays which use the dynamical step are transferred all at once. And for data layout, the several loop kernels are fitted to the uh, latency core machine. Uh, uh, it is structured as the array of structure. So we reverted from array of structure to structure of array, which is uh, suitable for the GPU computing. And uh, we used asynchronous execution of loop kernels as much as possible. The NICAM has a special <laughs> grid point for the stencil operation. It is a, a two pole points. The computational portion is very small, but the pole points are calculated on the host CPU of the uh, master rank. So we ignore the, the, this e irregular small computational part. Uh, this part is calculated on the host CPU. Uh, the, for OpenCC case, we don't have to separate kernel for this. It is advantage of the OpenCC. For MPI communication, data packing and packing of halo grids are processed on the GPU to reduce the size of the data transfer between host and the device. And for file I.O., variables for output. This output is used for monitor and uh, analysis. They are up updated uh, in each time step on GPU. And uh, at the time to file write, the, the data is transferred from device. And we prepared the three types of the node configuration. One is a GPU case. We used the Tsubame 2.5. Uh, we used the two GPU per node, and the two MPI process is used. And, uh, for CPU case on Tsubame 2.5, we used the high eight MPI per node. And additionally, we evaluated on the K computer. In, in K computer case, uh, we used uh, one MPA per node and uh, eight thread per MPA. It is a hybrid case. Uh, this is the result of the small node performance. The graph is the uh, elapsed time of the main loop, and GPU runs is the seven to eight times faster than the CPU run. And it is appropriate to the memory throughput. Now, we achieved a good performance without writing any CUDA kernels. And uh, for the OpenSC implementation, the modified and added lines of the code were only 5% of the whole application. It is incredible. Uh, 
Computational efficiency is the uh, reasonable in comparing with the computational performance and the memory performance. And the uh, GPU shows a good power efficiency than the CPU case. This is a weak scaling test. We conduct the five node simulation to the uh, over 1,000 node simulation. And we can see the good scalability between the small node case to the large node case. And we got the 47 teraflops for the 2,560 GPU case. The 47 teraflops in the largest problems that we achieved. Uh, but in this case, diagnostic variables for the monitor were written in files in every 50 minutes of the simulation time. It is a, a very f frequent case. The, by selecting the typical output interval for the production run, it is every three hours. We achieved 60 teraflops. Uh, this result suggests that the file I.O. is the, uh, very critical for the production run. The, so it is not uh, ignorable time. So uh, one of the solution is uh, data compression. Then we can compress the output data. And uh, we can compress output data on GPU if possible. So uh, many uh, weather climate simulation application output uh, uh, variables with the net CDF format and with uh, compression in uh, HDA5 library. The, in current case, the compression is executed just before the file write on the CPU. And the data is transferred, uncompressed data is transferred from GPU. So if we able to compress on the GPU, we can reduce the transfer data from GPU to CPU and file write. And we can reduce the compression time than CPU case. So we really need GPU optimized popular compression library, such as a QHDF. The, we also showed the strong scaling test. The, in strong scaling test, the GPU case is saturated earlier than the CPU case. It is related to the host to device transfer. Yeah, host to device transfer rate. And uh, uh, the, here is the number of the horizontal grid. And uh, we want to improve the I improve the, uh, these uh, problem size on the GPU. Uh, the massive scalar case is a 5% of elapsed time is communication. It is very difficult. Uh, the summary. The, uh, OpenCC enables easy porting to weather climate model to CPU. We achieved good performance and scalability with small no modification. And uh, application performance limited, mainly limit, limited to the performance of data transfer. The, there is some aspects to improve that issues. The one is a pinned memory. The, in this case, we did not use the pinned memory, but uh, the, this option 
is known as effective for the host to device transfer. And in the near future, NVLink and HDM is expected to improve the memory throughput and the host to device transfer throughput. The file I.O. issue is also critical. And for the application side, it's also need to more effort. The one is uh, uh, we want we sh should use the mixed precision more and more. S such precision aware coding is necessary, and uh, we have to evaluate the mixed precision from both scienti scientific and computational viewpoint. And the ongoing effect is uh, the physics component. Uh, we conduct the OpenCC optimization for physics. That's all. Thank you for the attention.